Hi there, welcome to Grain TV. It's Tuesday, October 27th. We had a bit of a reversal of fortunes today. Let's take a look at the Grain Hedge trading platform and see where we closed. On the day, corn was off four and a half cents. Soybeans was up six and a quarter cents, while wheat in Chicago was unchanged after a somewhat volatile day. Let's take a look at the daily wheat chart from the Grain Hedge trading platform. And on this chart, what we're going to notice is what we talked about yesterday, that 100-day moving average up above. And we talked about how that might prove as overhead resistance. And today it seemed to, in fact, do that. We closed lower on the day. Uh, compared to where we traded most of the day. We got up to that 100-day moving average around 518, but at the end of the day, substantially below that, back down below 510, around 509. So again, you know, there's, there's just a continuation of relatively poor fundamental news here in wheat. Yes, the market got a little excited yesterday about the weather problems in the plains and the weather problems in, the, in Russia and Ukraine, but overall, we still have global supplies that are are well above normal that keep a lid on this market the other thing of course that we've been hammering uh the last month is the lack of export volume out of the u.s on the wheat front we did get some more news that usda's ag attache lowered their forecast for the australian wheat crop to 24 million metric tons usda currently has that crop pegged at 27. that's not a big surprise because we've been thinking that the crop is going to be uh, lower than that based on late season problems with dryness and heat as we, as the crop went into filling there so that's not a huge surprise and obviously it didn't uh, spark a big rally uh, today in light of that USDA attache report. Let's switch gears now and talk a little bit about basis. Let's take a look at corn basis and where we've been trading here uh, in the last few days. And we've seen some good strength in basis, mostly as a result as we get to the latter part of this marketing, uh, this harvest season. And also farmers are really starting to hold tight to the crop starting to put it into the bin and really try and, and wait for further price increases. They haven't been getting it on the board, and so we're starting to see basis improvements. We talked about uh, last week how 2015 stacks up very nicely with the 2007 crop year. Both had similar stocks to use ratio in that 11 to 15 percent range, and we are seeing harvest pace that is in line with 2007 for 2015, uh, you know, around 75 percent uh, cut by this lap, last part of October. And so, you know, you can see how basis has really picked up here in the last week. We're looking for about a 10 to 15 cent rally as we go into the 1st of December. So, you know, should be some good gains in basis here. You know, we know there's going to be some tight farmer sales uh, as we get past harvest and that they're going to hold tight and we expect basis levels to improve. So if you're a producer, you know, keep in mind that probably the futures market's not going to give you much of a rally here uh, in the next month or so, but maybe your best opportunities may lie in the basis market. If you have questions about hedging, about protecting your positions, whether it's with futures or with options, by all means, give us a call at Grain Hedge. Visit us online at grainhedge.com and take a free trial of our trading platform. That's all we got for today. We'll see you on Wednesday.